In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take one of the recent Memojis, if you update your iOS device, that lets you have the laptop in front of you like the Worldwide Developer Conference landing page, and how you can add stickers onto it using Adobe Spark Post. It has a couple steps, but you can get this done in no time and then be sharing that on social media right now. Hey everybody, this is Michael Cohen, the Tech Rabbi, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, and if at any time you find value in this video, please consider giving it a like below. We're gonna talk about how to create, or I should say replicate, on the Worldwide Developer Conference website. It has these cool stickers. So I saw a couple people trying to replicate that. They were using Keynote, and I thought, well, if you have an iOS device, if you have an iPhone, how could you create this in a pretty quick and simple way? And I thought, let's take a look at how we could use Adobe Spark Post to go through that. So I'm gonna have my iPhone pop up. And what I'm gonna do now is, I'm basically gonna run through that thought process of how did I plan, how did I execute, how did I create this design so that you can do the same thing. Okay, so we're gonna run through this design process and what I tell people time and time again, it's all about the planning. When you understand exactly how you're gonna go about creating a design, you're gonna be super effective, much more productive, and you're just gonna get it done. And it's gonna get done right the first time. You are going to basically open up the iMessage app and you are going to find the Memoji stickers. Here you scroll down and you're gonna see with the laptop and you're gonna send it to yourself. And then when you click on that sticker, you are going to be able to Make a screenshot and then you're gonna be able to import that into your design and it's going to be pretty simple to keep moving forward. Second thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to open up your Safari browser or Chrome browser on your iPhone and you're going to use a website called cleanpng.com. But this one is great because you get there, you search and you have your PNG. You're not Google searching and trying to figure out does it have a transparent background? When you click on it, it sends you to Pinterest. You know, wherever you're going, you know you're gonna get in the title of the website, Clean PNGs. So you're gonna go to that website and you're gonna search and you're gonna save all of your images. So now we're gonna get into Adobe Spark Post. So you hit that plus sign and you add from your photo library and you're able to then select your images. You scroll down, you find that album and you basically are going to just select all of the images and bring them into the design. So when you add an image in, you can either pin to the background and move freely. We're gonna to wanna to move freely with all of the designs so that we can manipulate them and crop them and get them working. There's a weird glitch sometimes where you crop an image and then it reverts it back to the original layout and you have to recrop it in Adobe Spark Post. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. It happens sometimes. So there's that main design. We're gonna make it big and then we can reorder it and change that size so that we can get it filled up, go to the order, bring it all the way to the back and now we can start to bring in our designs, manipulate them, scale them down and angle them however you want to line them up so that you can get them looking like stickers on the laptop. Now, what you're gonna do is you're going to replicate this now, but we're gonna do it not just with one image at a time, we're going to bring in multiple images at a time. And so we go to that photo library, once again, find our album so we get quick access. We're able to click and check, 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 select all the images, bring them in, and then we'll be good to go to manipulate and adjust and change all of the different layout to get them all to overlay and look nice together. So there is that cropping feature that you can use where you just go to edit, you go to crop, you can crop with a shape, a circle, rectangle, these other shapes you see here, or you could do freeform and you're able to then crop and create however you need to. So over here, I'm gonna just get the cover of the book as a sticker. Then over here with the little Bab Jareba, who is the spiritual guide, and we're gonna make it a circle. We can then you know, change the order, we can change the, uh, the, 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 the order overlay, you can change the size, as I said before, manipulate them, and we're just gonna run through, bam, 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 and we're good to go. 
and there you have it. So once you're done with that, it's super quick. Once again, just being organized, knowing what stickers you're gonna add is gonna make it super effective, super fast. And then you're able to export that as solid color or as a transparent background so that you can, uh, if you have the transparent background, you are able to then overlay that into another design. And so then you can actually drop yourself into that splash screen front page of the Worldwide Developer Conference page and it looks like you're part of the crew. So just another way that you can use Adobe Spark Post to quickly create, collage, and design super awesome things. If you found this video valuable, please give it a like, share it with a friend who you know would appreciate creating their own Memoji laptop with stickers. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned until next time.